Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with uh, actually a little bit of spinning right now. For this one, I'm just going to talk about kind of what this is. A little bit about it, I'll give you guys some ideas and nice tips. So to start off with, this is a military sigma guitar. You notice, it's pretty short on the ground because of my waist. I believe this one is 38 inches. Usually you fit into your size. Uh, my friend Kaylee, she spins a 36, I believe. She's about 5'3". I had a friend, uh, my freshman year drum major, Craig Joseph. He spun a... 41, he was like 6 foot 3, ridiculous. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. Generally, you want to be able to have your arm fully extended and be able to go on your arm without feeling anything right here. Perfect size. Size doesn't totally matter. In my opinion, I would rather have a guitar that's just a little bit too small than too big. Um, when, it's, when it's too small, you can still do a lot of stuff with it. It's just not necessarily proportioned to your body. When it's too big, you're hitting and you're just having all these problems. Uh, I did my additions on a 39. did not work out very well. So now we get into the side thing. Right here, you notice mine is actually a white shaft. It's made out of Delrin, which is a nice bouncy material. It's pretty fun, I recommend it. You know, I've spun on this one most, actually all of it. Um, I did do an aluminum baton for a little bit. That's kind of how I learned, you know, like all my prop spins and all that. And uh, they're great batons. That's more of a traditional style. This is made for more of a field spinning kind of aspect. They do the same thing. They spin the same way. These ones are lighter when they hit the ground they kind of bounce back. The aluminum ones tend to like take shape. These ones you can always just kind of morph back into wherever you want. So, on that, you know, they're pretty much the same. Whatever you like more, try and get one in your hand, spin them, whatever feels better. They both get you ready to go. So this next one, I'm actually gonna go into spinning. We'll drop into the prop spin, and we'll get there. Thanks for watching guys, go to the next one.